This is Dracula, folks. Uh, I'm going to be doing some retooling of my PvP loadout after a recent uh, uh, crushing defeat at the freight yard. Some of the other level 6,000 players are, uh, are a bit advanced. Something they're doing is kicking my ass, so... Um, I'm going to look into a couple of things, like uh, possibly supreming my Votum Blast Rifle. Um, let's see. <sighs> Corrosion, Killing Machine. Um, crash Test Dummy and Wrecking Ball are a couple of things I had to protect myself from newbies driving around in... Um, yeah, and Cerberuses and, and running me over. I'm going to see if there's not something better I can put in there. Flinching knockback. I don't see a lot of flinching knockbacked enemies in... Uh, although that would be... That would be a good uh, perk for my sword, uh, sword loadout. Uh... Less damage from behind. 15 less damage. I'm not really having that issue where they're sneaking up behind me anymore. I've gotten pretty good about that. Sucker Punch from behind. This one is really good, reducing the explosive range that they hit you. But then again, I already have it, so... Yeah, none of these seem to... Alright. Someone did tell me that there's a lot of players using Bio in PvP. So I'm going to do that. And... What's the other one here? <clears throat> Increase armor penetration from your bio attack. 15% more armor penetration. I may go ahead and put that one on too. Because I'm using bio a lot. Yeah. Let's see. Gunslinger. Thick skinned. Overload. Um, blast shield. Quick charge, corrosion, killing machine. I think that's about the best I can do. Let me look at different um, shields. I'm using ironclad blast proof. 40% less damage from explosives. Let's see what else I have. Uh, less damage from vehicles. Oh, no, no, that's the one I actually have on there right now. Yeah, and since I'm not, um... I'm not worried about the vehicle so much now, I can always change it back if people start running me over. So, I'll... Yeah, I'm gonna use the blast proof. Um, let's see what this one is. Let me see here. Uh, Seventh Legion, I would have to have three... I would have to have two weapons with this same 7th Legion Unity to get this uh, synergy. Oh, uh, fire resistance. Oh, that's something I didn't check on these shields. Bio resistance. This uh, hurricane. But look at the capacity. It's way low. I need something with that kind of capacity, though. Yeah, the, the Rhino is the other one that has this kind of capacity. Uh, Tachyon's pretty close. Capacity's way too low on the hurricanes. Tachyon Berserker... Orange would be better. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to keep an eye out for um, for an ironclad or a rhino that I like, something that has um, bio or resistance to uh, radiation. Cause yeah, these don't have any resistance. They just have the highest capacity. But I do have that ego perk now, uh, giving me some bio resistance. Uh, so that's a plus. <laughs> Okay, and for William Walker, uh, who commented on YouTube, Oh, MFG, why you don't use your DC-11? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to do a quick comparison um, of the rifle I am using. Uh, and it'll become quite apparent, I think, why I'm not using my DC-11 Piper. Uh, cycle comparison. I'm going to cycle until the Piper comes up over here. Come on, Piper. Where's my Piper? Piper! 
there we go. Uh, DC-11 Piper MK2. Uh, let me... All right, first of all, uh, one thing you'll notice is a difference is the, uh, is the nano effect. Uh, my Votan Blast Rifle has uh, bio, the Piper has r radiation. Um, a, a lot of people swear by radiation, but I like the way bio gives poop shoes and breaks down the, uh, the armor plates, removes them. Uh, from what I understand, the radiation it penetrates the plates. There's a certain percentage uh, when you're going against different types of uh, defensive layers. Um, bio really, you know, attacks the armor plate and uh, and uh, destroys it. Uh, that's I, I prefer bio to uh, to uh, radiation. That's the first uh, reason I use the Votan blast rifle. Um, now it, I don't have the mods for the Saturnilla. Really, uh, if I can go for T5 mods, which I've done uh, on both of these, uh, and not have the synergy, I'm gonna go with the T5 mods. the uh, The main reason I'm using is look at the damage. The Piper has greater uh, magazine capacity. The fire rate's higher. Uh, the critical multiplier is higher and the bloom is less, but the damage on this Votan Blast Rifle is... Alright, first of all, it looks like it's only like 350 more or something, but it's times 3, and you multiply that by 15 rounds per second. Uh, I'll do the figures for you really quick. I'm, I, I have a calculator here in my hand, and I'm going uh, 1475, this is the Piper, uh, times 3, uh, times the fire rate of 15.7 rounds per second it, it's doing 69,472 damage per second the Votan blast rifle is doing 1 8 3 uh, uh, 7 times 3 uh, times the fire rate of 15 rounds per second it's doing 82,665 there that's why I'm using the Votan Blast Rifle. That, and, and it gives the baddies uh, the poop shoes and slows them down and knocks down their armor plates. Um, some of you ha might have noticed something interesting about, uh, about this rifle. Uh, the fact that it has a blue and orange damage increase. Um, I may get into that in another episode, uh, or I may delete it entirely. Because... Um, uh, you can't get this rifle anymore. So I can go ahead and tell you that I got it from the Selector Enterprises vendor. Um, and it's not really going to make a difference because they've redone all of the weapons at that vendor. And you can't get it anymore. But um, I'm going to look in a second here. I'm going to look into uh, supreming it. Um, and if anybody can give me a, any advice on what they think I should do after seeing what exactly it is I'm using, um, I would appreciate it. I have, let's see, 1209 upgrade rarity. It's a 5% chance of success if I spend 100. Now this would be a total of 575 and it's a 30% chance. How much to get it up to 50%? Oh, that's almost all my arc forge. Let's see if it's at 25%. Mm. I don't want to use all my I'm going to be so disappointed if I use all my arc forge and then and then I flip a coin and it comes up tails. <laughs> That's that's gonna be almost yeah I'm gonna have and then I might even not even get the damage bonus I want that's gonna be very upsetting if that doesn't work so I'll see what you guys think I'll read the comments and uh, and let you guys tell me should I do it or should I should I spend all my arc forge to supreme this blast rifle or or does anybody have a better idea so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna exit Whew. yeah I did not want to spend all of that arc forge all at once and then and then end up with nothing to show for it so uh, 
I'm gonna try this out in PvP later. So um, if anybody has any any ideas for me, uh, just let me know in the comments uh, what I should do, and uh, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.